Hello, hello, everybody. Hello. Greetings to all our learners. It is that time of the day. It's 12 p.m. on the 6th of May. You know what time it is? It is time for English Grade 8, First Additional Language. I welcome each and every one of you. I am so excited about today's lesson because it's going to be great. It's going to be a very different lesson. And it is also going to be very interactive. And if you can hear me, please say hi. Let me acknowledge you. Let me welcome you to today's lesson. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be interactive. So in case you're wondering what today's lesson is all about, like I, so today's lesson will be about how to debate and we are going to actually debate. Then we will also discuss the roles involved as well as how to play them, how the speakers take turns. So welcome everyone. So this is what we did in the previous lesson. We introduced what debating is, as well as the reasons for why we debate, the benefits of debating, and we also went through how to prepare for a debate. Remember we said that today we are going to have an actual debate. I hope everybody's ready. Remember the topic is summer is better than winter that is the debate topic that we are going to use a bit later in the lesson i hope everybody is ready and prepared to participate in today's debate i remember what i said yesterday that speaking is the most valuable asset for your life as a learner for your, pro for your personal life, as well as for your professional life later on in the future. And you should be able to, to talk with ease and accuracy. So in today's lesson, you will have that opportunity to do that. Yes. Welcome everyone, let's get on with our lesson. So remember to debate is to argue different viewpoints on a chosen topic, okay? Remember, I already gave you the topic. So I know each and every one of us, we have different viewpoints about the same topic. So that is what debating is all about when you argue your different viewpoints on a chosen topic. A debate is a formal oral form for public viewing and participation. So in the classroom setting, you will, you will realize that there will be those who debate and the rest of your classmates will be viewing what is happening. And in today's lesson, we are going to emulate that on this online platform. The debating procedure. So we are going to have two teams of speakers and each team will have three speakers. Okay, 
So what does that mean? It means you are going to have six people, six speakers, three speakers on team one, another three speakers on team two. So the speakers in team one, that is called the proposition side, will be supporting our topic. And there will be three speakers in team two, which we call the opposition team, which will be against our topic. Another word for the topic is motion. So a motion is our chosen topic, which makes claims or propositions. So that is why the team which agrees with the motion, we call it the proposition team, because they are proposing that this is how things are. Here is our topic there. Summer is better than winter. So it means that the proposition team will be agreeing with the chosen topic that summer is indeed better than winter. Then the opposition team will be against this motion to say that no, summer is not better than winter, okay? Okay, remember if you have concerns and questions, there is our chat is available and I will attend to your question and to your concerns. So the, deba the debate proceedings, they are controlled by a chairperson. Okay, so I, I will be the chairperson in this case. So the chairperson, what does he do? He introduces the motion and gives some background to it. Then he also continues to introduce each speaker from each team the chairperson will also maintain order to make sure that there is order, there is no chaos, there is no interruptions during the debate proceedings. Then they will also keep time to make sure that every speaker has been given the relevant time limit, that there is no speaker who speaks above the given time limit. The chairperson also manages the discussion when the motion is opened to the floor. There will come a time in the debate where the motion will be open to everybody who is here to, to put in their comments, to say their opinions, what they think, and to also share with us their viewpoints. And the chairperson is also responsible for managing the votes which come in when we decide which team really is more convincing, which team has won the debate. Still on debating procedure, the chair will introduce the motion and ask the first speaker for the proposition side to speak. Remember the proposition side, it is that team which agrees with our motion. So the first speaker for the proposition will present their argument which will support the motion. So in our case, the first speaker of the proposition will be saying the reasons why they believe that summer is better than winter. Then when he or she is done, they will come the first speaker for the opposition side who will be speaking against the motion and they will present their arguments as to why they are opposing the motion, okay? So this process of them opposing there is a word for it and we call it rebuke, okay? Re rebuke. So when you rebuke, that is when you attack the first speaker's argument, okay? Then we will move on to the second speaker of the proposition who will continue to build their team's arguments, okay? They'll present new arguments and they'll also attack the arguments of the previous speaker from the other team, okay? Then there will come the second speaker of the opposition who will also do the same thing that the second speaker of the proposition just did. So after the, after the first two speakers of both teams have spoken, then the motion will be open to the floor, that is to the rest of us, to the rest of you who didn't participate, you know, to discuss it and to ask your questions and to also add on your viewpoints. Are we all together at the moment? Remember, if you have questions, 
if you are lost, if you have clarifications you need, please use our chat to ask a question and I will attend to it as soon as it appears on my chat. Still on debating procedure. So after, after the motion has been open to the floor, then you are going to continue, okay? So this time around, the third, the third speaker, who will be the last speaker from the opposition, will sum up all their arguments, okay? Then after that, the first speaker from the proposition side will also repeat their team's main arguments, and they will try to persuade us and giving us reasons why we should really be convinced with their argument, okay? And then the third speaker of the, for the proposition side will also do the same. Then that will be the end of our debate, okay? So if we were in the classroom, what was going to happen next was that when we conclude our debate, there will be some scores, you know, scores for each and every speaker who spoke, how did they score? in terms of their self-confidence, in terms of the content that which they have put forth, in terms of their facts, their presentation, the time limit, and everything else that which they used. You know, remember all the things we presented in yesterday's lesson, the things about using synonyms, the action verbs, your tone, your mood, your articulation of words, your voice projection, your pace, you know, the speed at which you are speaking, that is also important because this is how we take it. If you speak too fast, we will take it that you are scared, you are fearful, you are nervous, you know, you are anxious and that will really work against you. Also, if, even if you speak too slow, we'll think you are demotivated, you are disinterested in what you're talking about, and therefore we should not be listening to you. You know, there is nothing we can get from you. But if you speak neither too fast and neither too slow, but speak with a moderate tempo, then we can really listen to you. You can take the news reporters as an example. When you watch the news, you can hear the news reporter, you can hear the news reader because they are not speaking too fast and they are not speaking too slow either. They are speaking at a moderate pace so that you can hear what they are saying, so you can understand what they are saying. Even today, that is what is going to happen, okay? So yes, at the end, it will be the scoring where we assess your speeches and we put the motion to the vote whether the proposition team has won or whether the opposition team has won. So that is what it will be all about at the end. So before we start, let me give you some tips which will really help to bring out the best in you when we are going to do the debate in the next few minutes. The first point that the first point to remember is that you plan your argument by noting three or four reasons to support your point of view. You would have decided whether you agree with the motion or whether you disagree with it. So after that, you come up with three or four reasons which support your point of view, okay? Make sure that those reasons are good Make sure that those reasons are in line with the motion. Make sure that those reasons, they can also be linked with each other. Okay, so that will really help you to be able to present your argument in the best way you possibly can so that you can give your team that good advantage. You can give your team better chances of winning this of being the convincing side in this debate. Point number two, you explain your points by using interesting and unusual facts or examples, okay? Remember, there are some things that which 
you know, but we don't know anything about those things that you know. Therefore, it will be good for you to use something interesting, okay? Points which are interesting so that you can catch our attention so that we can listen to you, you know, use those facts which will make us to raise our eyebrows, those facts which will really surprise us, those examples which are very interesting and something worthy for us to hear and for us to really give you the attention that you deserve, okay? Then number three, you keep to the agreed time limit so if we say that the time limit for you is three minutes, make sure that you do not exceed three minutes. Remember, it is a time limit. You can go anywhere below it, but never above it, okay? So that is something which is very important that as you, as you structure everything you are going to write in our chat for our debate, then you, Please remember the time limit, okay? Remember the time limit. It is very important to make sure that you are not cut or there is nothing that which you had to say which will go unsaid, okay? That is a very frustrating experience to prepare so well but not be able to, to tell us what you prepared, to present to us your arguments, okay? So yes. Another pointer, you should present your argument. And when you present your argument, remember to use the following. Remember to use emotive language. Remember what emotive language is. I said that emotive language is that language we use when we want to create certain feelings in people. Okay? When we want to create certain feelings in people, we use emotive language. So use that emotive language to your advantage. Remember also to persuade us, okay? Use persuasive language so that you can get people to see things the way you do, to get people to be convinced in what you are saying. Remember also the use of rhetorical questions can really help you. Remember what rhetorical questions are. Rhetorical questions are those questions you ask, although we do not expect the answer because we already know the answer. Even the person you are asking already knows the answer. Okay, so remember to use, to use that. And if appropriate, you can also use humor, you know, a, le a little something there to really make people smile or laugh, you know, it can really get you a long way. So another thing we are going to need to use would be exaggeration. Sometimes when you want to get your point across, you have to exaggerate, okay? For, for example, if right now I'm very hungry and I want to make that point come across, I can say, I am so hungry that I could eat a horse, okay? So I have just exaggerated how hungry I am and that will really help to communicate how hungry I really am. Another thing we may need to use is repetition. Sometimes when you repeat your points or what you just said, it shows that what you have said is very important. That's why it has to be repeated, okay? 
So when you repeat something, it communicates agency. It also communicates the significance of what you're repeating. Also remember to use commanding verbs. Commanding verbs are those verbs which instruct us or they command us to do certain actions. Okay, so you will see which commanding verbs you may use, which would be appropriate for your point of view when you present it. And the last pointer is that the rest of us, the rest of the class will listen carefully or read carefully to both teams and then they will decide which team really was the most convincing. Are we all together? Do you all understand what is required of us? So this is what we are going to do today. I will leave the slide of extra tips for debating here. And let me remind you of the topic once again. The topic is summer is better than winter. Okay, do you agree or do you disagree? Remember, I want three or four reasons why you agree and I want three or four viewpoints of why you disagree to this motion, okay? So, fastest fingers first, fastest fingers first, I'm going to read the first point which has three or four reasons to support the viewpoint. I'm going to read it first. Then I'm going to read the second, the first one which opposes this like that, like that, okay? So fastest fingers first, let's, let us write. I'm going to give you a few minutes to type your viewpoints, okay? Remember, we want the reason why you, you are saying that summer is better than winter. If you agree that summer is better than winter, we want to know why, okay? Give us three or four reasons. Or number, or if you disagree that summer is better than winter, instead winter is better than summer, we also want the reasons for that. Okay, so please, we still have a lot of time, so I can wait for your responses. I can wait for those paragraphs, just one paragraph with three or four of your reasons why you believe in what you believe. Okay, I will leave this slide here for extra tips for you as I wait for you to tell me why. So for the next few minutes, I will remain quiet so you can better concentrate on putting together your viewpoints. For the next two minutes, I will be quiet and wait for your viewpoints. Remember that when you give us your viewpoints, think about them in different aspects, okay? Think about the impact of these seasons on your health, on other people, not just you yourself, okay? On society, on your family, sometimes even on, you know, your finances, you know, the financial 
standing of our country, you know, everything that is affected by summer or winter. Think about them and include them in your viewpoint. Okay. So I will still wait for you. I will still wait for your viewpoints. So far, the ones I have are for the opposition. So I will wait for the first viewpoint, which agrees with the motion that summer is better than winter. And then I will read it out loud for every one of us. Wow, I am seeing so many interesting reasons that you are sharing in the chat and I will read them. But first I realized that all of you, you are disagreeing with the topic. <laughs> so who, where are those who agree that summer is better than winter? Okay, I will open the floor because remember I did say I agree that summer is better than winter, why? One thing is that we know that in summer, you know, is long days and shorter nights, which means that the sun, the sun usually sets later and the sun also rises up earlier. Okay. So what could that mean? That could mean that crime will be reduced. You know, I mean, who will come and break at your house during daylight? No one will do that. Okay. And another thing is during summer, we do not get flu, okay? F flowers are growing. And one thing about flowers is that seeing or appreciating that beauty of flowers is good for your mental health. It is good for, it is good for you. Like it makes you to feel optimistic and positive about life. In summer, we wear shorts, we wear short sleeve t-shirts, we wear flip-flops, and you will realize that the clothes that we wear in summer, they're very cheap, you know? They're very affordable. They are, they are very affordable compared to the, the clothes that we wear in winter. All those fairy boots, track suits, the beanies, the gloves, the scarves, and all that, you know? So in summer, you just wear a simple shirt shorts, flip-flops, then you're good to go, okay? Even, even when you go to school, it is like that, okay? And one thing is that the sun is good for your health, you know? 
when you are exposed to the sun, your body produces vitamin D, which helps your body to absorb calcium, which is good for your bones, okay? So then you have strong bones, okay? Then another thing about Sama, it is the fact that there are those people who have that, that depression in winter. You won't have it in summer because everything is all colorful. Everything is all color colorful and we usually get sick when in winter. In summer, we are never sick. We never get flu in summer, you know. And I also like to believe that even, even with the COVID-19, it won't be that powerful during the, the summer months or the spring months. Okay, so that is my viewpoint why I believe that summer is better than winter, okay? So let me go and read your, your viewpoints. Let me read your viewpoints. Okay, Koshi says winter is better because in summer there are a lot of bugs and mosquitoes. Okay, okay, that's true, but there's also insecticides you can use like instead. Okay, thank you, Kosi. Zamaku says, yes, but summer, be summer is better because we can swim or play outside. Thank you, Zamaku for being on my team. Summer really is better. Mkon is saying, in summer, we dehydrate too much, so winter is the best. Mm, that's very interesting. That's, that's an interesting viewpoint. Okay, I will comment at the end after reading all the viewpoints. So, let's say DS says mosquito bites. Jose again says you should stay inside and be warm. Hmm, okay. Zamaku, okay, wow. Zamaku is everywhere. Okay, okay. Buisile says it is very hot in summer. Hmm, so what does that mean, Buisile? Do you, do you, do you agree that summer is better than winter or not? I'm not sure about that. So Zamaguke says summer, yes. All right, let's go. Wow, seems like everybody's debating in the chat. <laughs> okay, this is good. I love this, I love this. I love it, I love it. So Mkon is saying winter is better because we stay indoors. In summer, you get burned and your skin color changes. And because of swimming too much, you might get a cold from swimming and eating ice cream. So winter is best. Remember guys, when you write your viewpoints, remember to use punctuation, okay? So that it will make it easier for me to read it the way you, have, you would have wanted to say it, okay? Thank you very much, Mkon. Then Neshaniya Tyrese says winter is better because of the temperature. Since it's cold, you use energy to warm yourself up. Mm, okay, that's natural science, thank you. Then Kosi says, in winter, you can have hot chocolate. Hmm, okay. Nkanka saying, you still get cold in winter. Well, I, I really hope I can keep up with all your viewpoints. Lesedi S says, in summer, it is too hot. You eat too much unhealthy food. You can even get sunburn. But in winter, you can stay inside, wear warm clothes, and drink warm drinks and stay comfortable. Okay, so, okay, all right, thank you. Mkon again saying swimming too much can make you bored, but in winter you can try things while you are indoors. All right. Okay, wow, it is a debate in the chat, eh? I see it, I see it. Then, remember I am reading those viewpoints which, okay, let's see. Wow, there is a chat here, there is a chat here. So they say sometimes winter school is closed. Mm, let's see. In summer, you can sleep longer. Hmm. What does that mean? Does it mean that you support that summer is better than winter? But in winter, you can sleep all you want. In summer, you have to go to school. <laughs> so then that means summer is better than winter because you can go to school, you can learn and be prepared to become who you want to be in life, okay? Yes. Thank you for your viewpoints. Thank you for your viewpoints, everybody. 
So they say in winter you get to be with your families and you snuggle by the fireplace. Wow, that's very beautiful. They say you can drink tea in winter. Okay, Tyrese says it's, it's hot already and everyone is out working and schooling. Winter is, <laughs> Tyrese, please decide which side you're on. Right, right. right now you're saying very good viewpoints, but it's almost like you are riding on the fence. Please choose one side, okay? <laughs> I will wait for your viewpoint again as you choose a side, Tyrese and I do. So Nkanka says, Sa Sama, because you can spend time with your family. Koshi says, winter is better because you sleep longer. Okay, there, there is a question from Lisey saying, guys, would you rather feel hot while you're doing your homework or wear warm clothes while not thinking about the heat while doing your homework or doing exams? Mm. That is a very interesting question. That is a very interesting question. But it is good to really study when it's summer, you know. You, you, you can just have a, a jar of cool water. Then you drink as you study. You will be hydrated and that water will also cool you down. Okay. So I will thank you for your viewpoints. Thank you for your viewpoints. But more can really be added. From what I've heard from you, it seems like many of you have written about school. Remember what I said, that when you do this, you think of your viewpoints in, any, in every direction you can think of, not just how it affects you. Think about how it affects your siblings, how it affects your working parents, you know, how, it affects, how it affects people who are unemployed, how it affects our economy, your garden, you know, farming, and all other things, okay? Okay, Tyrese Naidu is back, and this is what Tyrese wrote. What I meant is everyone is out working and schooling, and no one is home to be with you or to spend time with you in summer. So in winter, everyone is together. Oh, so, okay, okay. Okay, Therese, now we see that you disagree that summer is better than winter because in summer you say that you go to school and everyone else is going to work. There's nobody at home, so you can't spend time with anyone. You are just alone. So are you all done with your viewpoints? Thank you so much for participating, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you. I really enjoyed reading your comments. Wow. If if you can really look at all the messages in the chat right now. Wow, this is a real debate going on. I feel like I can just keep quiet and just look and read what you are writing. Mkon says, when it's winter, you can have more time with your family. And in summer, you get bored too much and you sleep too much. Hmm. OK. All right, okay. Remember, right now we are home, not because it's winter, okay? We are home because it is the lockdown because of the COVID-19, okay? So yeah, I don't think we can use that as, as a reason for, for that, okay? So which side really wins? Is it summer is better than winter or winter is better than... This debate is so heated that I even got disconnected. 
apologies for that but i blame you because of how heated this debate is so it seems like winter really won that winter really is better than summer yes so the most convincing side was the opposition side saying that winter is indeed better than summer but okay we only have a few minutes before the lesson ends so we can really reach a consensus right now so please write me a consensus okay remember remember that when we write a consensus we are not uh, debating anymore we do not disagree and we do not agree anymore but we just take everything and we combine it to reach a conclusion okay so in as much as most of you believe that winter is better than summer we will realize that we also need we also need summer okay so i know that you are saying winter is better than summer and if it was up to you you will really want the whole year to be winter and not be any summer season in the year okay i know that but one thing that which we should remember is that both winter and summer as seasons both of them really are important okay we really do need both of them okay we need we need the summer to warm our bodies you know to really go outside in the sun so that you can go and hit the beach you know so you can go swimming so you can go do those outdoor activities okay and also we also need summer so that some crops can also grow you know like maize wheat and all and all those other crops which are used to making our favorite food okay and on and on the other hand we still need winter you know we still need winter so that our bodies can rest because usually in winter you know your your body systems is almost like to slow down you know you do not sweat as much as you do in the summer you can sleep longer so you can rest from all the sun you could have had in the summer you know in in as much as there is possibilities of cold and flu in winter but at least in winter we are not we we are not irritated by all these mosquitoes buzzing in our ears you know we can really we can really get insect repellents mosquito repellents out of our list you know out of our grocery list you know so the consensus really is that we both need we really need both seasons okay so that they can be balanced in the ecosystem they can be balanced in our lives they can also be balanced out there okay remember we we need that rain in the summer you know and we also need that little sun which really shines in the winter you know like even right now if where you are is sunny then you can just go outside and realize how refreshing and how warming the light and the heat of the sun is when it is so cold like it is today okay so that is our consensus that is the point that is the end of our debate okay so congratulations to the opposition side saying that winter is better than summer you really came with very convincing reasons very convincing arguments so a round of applause to you a round of applause wherever where you are in the comfort of your own room so yes this brings the end of our lesson today it was a very interactive lesson i enjoyed it so much and i hope you also enjoyed it as much as i did and even more and with this few remaining minutes left i would like to in, to invite you to tomorrow's lesson we are still on the theme of listening and speaking so if you were at school this is what you would have been doing it is forum or panel discussion okay so this is what we will be doing tomorrow it is not it is not really the same as debate it is quite different but it is also as it is also as interesting as a debate is okay and one thing to prepare for this please guys revise your punctuation marks okay i tomorrow i really need you to use capital letters when necessary i really need you to use your full stop i really need you 
to use your commas. I really need you to use your question marks, okay? Everything that which I've taught you so far, I really need you to use it, guys. Please use our, our punctuation marks. They will really make it very, very wonderful. Remember, we are still a school. Let's use our punctuation marks. I don't want to take my red pen and scratch what you just said on my screen. It's very frustrating. So please, tomorrow, today, just reverse your punctuation marks again, your full stop, your comma, your question mark. And tomorrow, we are coming in for our forum, our panel discussion. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Remember to charge your phone. Remember to charge your phone. You can't afford for your phone to switch off at such a time. Remember, we are still on social media. Follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Remember to use the hashtag Lockdown eSchool to communicate with us your compliments, your concerns, your complaints, your comments. We would like to hear from you. So from my side and the rest of the STEM Lockdown Digital School, this is the end of the lesson. Goodbye. Keep well. Let's meet again tomorrow. Same time, same place. Take care. We love you. Bye-bye.